What's up guys, Close 95 here and welcome to my second Football Manager experiment. So this time we are doing an inverse league experiment. So what I've done, I've used a custom database and the 20 lowest reputation teams. Actually I believe it's sorted by A to Z, A to Z and then it's the like top half, so A to H from um, National League North and National League South were moved up into the Premier League and then the second half of the alphabet was playing the Championship. And then this is the National League. This is still League 2. League 2 is the only one that doesn't change. The National League is the League 1 teams. National League North and National League South is a combination of the Championship and the Premier League teams. So as you can see, in National League North, we've got Liverpool, Man United, Man City, Everton, Newcastle, Sunderland, teams like that. And then in the South, we've got Arsenal, Chelsea, all the other London teams, Tottenham, Southampton. And... We want to see how fast will the teams down here, so like Arsenal, Chelsea, Man United, Man City, make it back up to the Premier League? Will they do it in successive seasons? They probably will. And who, in the meantime, is going to win the Premier League? And when the teams eventually do get back up, will they instantly just walk the league or will the teams who have been winning the Premier League um, challenge them and keep pace with them for example could in 10 years time could it be FC United Manchester versus Man United for the top spot that's what we want to find out so I will join you guys at the end of the first season Okay guys, as you can see, Barclays Premier League 2015-2016 was won by Eastbourne Borough. Ebbs for United got second, Alfred and Tang got third, and Bath City filled out the Champions League spots. AFC Fylde got third place, our oh, fifth place, sorry, in the Europa League spot. And then the three teams going down, FC United, Manchester, Bradford Park Avenue and Curzon Ashton. Concord Rangers, um, Chelmsford, Boston, Corby, all those teams staying in the Premier League. In the Championship, I, I may have gone a bit too far, so I have to backtrack this season. Sun United won the league, 99 points, they walked it. Um, Stockport County got the automatic promotion spot, and Margate won the playoffs. It was pretty close between Nuneaton and Stockport for the automatic promotion spot, but they narrowly missed out Nuneaton. Um, Hednesford Town, Gloucester City and Truro City all went down. Let's just go back to the Premier League. I want to see transfers and then the previous season. So was there any fees paid at all? No, this season there's been a couple quarter of a million pounds buys which is pretty good it's a bit faster than I expected it and if I go to the previous season and now we'll go down to who won League 1 Tranmere Rovers won League 1 joint on points with Braintree but they won by one goal on goal difference they scored less but they conceded less and that won them the league Braintree and Eastleigh going up Braintree through automatic promotion, easily won the playoffs. Galesley, Aldershot, Welling and Chester City all got relegated to League 2. Teams like this will just fall all the way down. They'll end up in the National League North and South, most likely. As you can see, a massive difference between Chester and Welling and the rest of the league. League 2, so this is pretty normal. So, Plymouth Argyle won. Uh, uh, were they top of the? Are they top of the league too in real life? I think they might be. 
Well, they were at one point in this season. Portsmouth close behind. Notts County get the third automatic promotion spot, and then Cambridge United won the playoffs, ahead of Yeovil, Northampton, and Carlisle. And the two teams to go down to the National League are Newport County and Morecambe. Unfortunate for those. Let's see. So, National League, Wigan Athletic won 103 points. Bradford C got. And is the playoffs? There is, I think. Yeah, there's one all Mac promotion spot in the playoffs. So Bradford beat Sheffield United, Doncaster and Millwall for the automatic, for the remaining promotion spot. Where the playoffs Scunthorpe, Blackpool Crew and Burton all got relegated. And will be playing in respectively National League North and South. National League North was won by Manchester City. Liverpool came second on 100 points and Manchester United beat them in the playoffs ahead of Everton and West Brom interestingly. I was kind of expecting Newcastle up there ahead of West Brom, but Hull finished ahead of Sunderland, so a championship team finished ahead of the Premier League team. And Rotherham, Sheffield Wednesday and Bolton Wanderers relegated out of the National League and out of the playable leagues. So we'll have to see if they come back. And then in the National League South, we can see that Arsenal won the league, 109 points, Chelsea came second, 107, Swansea interest in the beat Tottenham on in the league. Chelsea won the playoffs um, Norwich, Crystal Palace, Southampton. Southampton finishing down in eighth. Bit of a surprise. Watford, who usually do pretty well in this game, down in ninth. Um, any surprises? Bournemouth down in sixteenth. MK Dons, Cardiff, and Charlton all getting relegated. They'll be joining Rotherham, Sheffield Wednesday, and Bolton in the regional leagues next season. So. Yeah, let's, if we can, we can't see last year's stats. We can have a look at the transfers for, if we go to England, and then go to transfer, first things first, is there anything we wouldn't expect? Well, Gary Cahill is at Guang, Guangzhou Evergrande in China. Um, Kieran Gibbs has moved to AC Milan. Everything else seems pretty standard. Um, let's go to transfers and the previous. Let's go to the first summer transfer window. There wasn't really any transfers. Second time, nothing. Nothing. Right, so Ujua went to Watford, Jose Enrique went to Sunderland for less than a million, it's pretty good. Danny Graham, football manager legend, went to Brighton, Hove, Alb Brighton and Hove Albion. Walters went to Watford, and then some lower league players moving. Constantinopolis from Millsborough to Huddersfield, 48,000, it's quite cheap. In December, Anichibi went to Sunderland for 1.3 million. Fletcher went to Birmingham for 1.1 million. As you can see, because they're in a much lower league, the players are worth a lot less. Glenn Whelan going to Leicester. Farland going from QPR to San Lorenzo in Argentina. Oh, no, Paraguay, isn't it? No, it's Argentina. It's, I'm assuming... He's Argentinian, yeah. It's gonna say if it's just some random English kid moving to Argentina. <laughs> Be a bit weird. De Dejan Lovren went from Liverpool to Bayern for 14 million. Boney left Muncie for Juventus for 10 million. Wimar left Tottenham for Lazio for 9. Funes Mori left Everton for Sporting in Portugal for 8. 
Fellini left United for Juventus. That was rumoured in real life. There's Gibbs moving, Shane Long moved to Ikea in Qatar. Interesting to see that Gareth Barry as well. Sacco left for Napoli. Paulista went to Sevilla. Some others. No, it's major. Makeda left to Sampdoria. I can see something like that happening in real life. Um, February, Kuyate left to Hoffenheim for three million. It's a bargain that. Stephen Naismith left Everton for Southampton for one million. He's just there for what nine million in real life. Cal Wilson went to a Qatari team for seven million from Bournemouth. Charlie Austin went to Aston Villa for two million. So we could see Aston Villa shoot up because Charlie Austin's really good in the lower leagues. Like even in the Championship, he still kills it in this game. Um. Just loans that time. Nothing. Right. Zabaleta went to PSG for 11 million. Mertesacker went to Monaco for 10. Cahill went to Guangzhou Evergrande for 8. Cabello went to Marseille for 6. Kieften Beld went to Feyenoord for 2 million. Akpom. Any other major shocks? Not really. Right, guys, I will join you in 2017. Okay, guys, 2016 2017 season is over. And as you can see, Margate, one of the championship teams who got promoted, ended up winning the league comfortably by nine points over Ebbsfleet, who came second for a second year in a row. Eastbourne Borough dropped from first to third. Already, there is only three Champions League spots, which is kind of what's probably going to happen in real life unless English teams do really well in Europe this season. Boston make up the Europa League spot. AFC failed and Bath have both dropped off massively. Corby, Basingstoke, Concord Rangers all getting relegated. In the Championship, Tranmere, second successive promotion. Eastleigh and Braintree also going up. Here's in Yedding, North Ferriby and Western Superman all getting relegated. And they're probably going to just shoot down the leagues at this point. In League 2, League 1, sorry. Portsmouth and Plymouth both went up. Cambridge missed out, Notts County going up. Cambridge almost got an automatic promotion spot. Just missed out by three points. Just want to check how did the end of season form go? Ooh, oh no, that was the playoffs. But yeah, they were quite good at the end, so it was an end of season. I think Plymouth were just stronger throughout. And Altrincham. Truro, Hednesford and Gloucester all going down. He Gloucester and Hednesford not doing well at all. 22 and 17. Gloucester conceding almost 100 goals. Let's go down to League 2. So there should now be championship teams here. Yeah, Wigan storming the league. 114 points. Only lost two games all season. Bradford, Reoval and Lainton Orient going up. Aldershaw and Chester going down with very few points. I think Chester, have they both? Yeah. The four bottom teams here were the four who got relegated the previous season. Right, League, National League. Chelsea and Man United going up ahead of Man City and Arsenal. So Man City, Arsenal, Man United and Sheffield United all in the playoffs. Man United end up winning the playoffs. All four Premier League teams got over 100, got 119 points or more. It's ridiculous. Chelsea lost one game to Man City and drew with Colchester, interestingly enough. Colchester finishing in 18th. Swindon, Southend, Newport and Morecambe going down. 
Let's check the National League North. As you can see, Liverpool and Leicester going up. Leicester being out, Everton, Stoke, Newcastle to get promotion. Crew, Workington and Ilkston going out of the playable leagues. Let me just check if Rotherham, Sheffield Wednesday or Bolton got promoted. Um, Bolton came back. Rotherham came back. But no Sheffield Wednesday. That could be very troubling for Sheffield Wednesday. Because if you don't get promoted straight away, all your good players are going to leave because they're not actually getting games. Because the game's not calculating them as having played at all. So they'll just leave. And then National League South. Tottenham won. Southampton again promoted ahead of West Ham Palace and Swansea. Swansea finishing second for second year in a row because they finished there. The, I know they finished third the previous season, but they missed out on promotion. Farnborough, Leamington, and Bognor Regis Town getting relegated. So let's say, did MK Dons Cardiff at Charlton come back? Cardiff did. Charlton did not. Neither did MK Dons. So they may have a lot of trouble as well. So I will join you at the end of the 2017 2018 season in a minute, guys. Okay, end of the 2017-2018 season, and as you can see, Ebbsfleet managed to end their three-year drought without the title. They came second two years in a row before finally winning it this season. Four points ahead of Margate, Eastbourne Borough finishing third. Tremia Rovers, the promoted club who have stormed every league they've been in so far, finishing fourth. Easley and Boston getting 5th and 6th. All these other teams seem to have become solid mid-table mid -table teams. Brackley, Bath and Gainsborough Trinity going down to the Championship. Where Plymouth, Notts County and Tamworth getting promoted from the Championship to the Premier League. Portsmouth miss, missing out quite interestingly. Um, Basingstoke, Minhead, and Stalybridge Celtic going down. Oh, that'll be Celtic, won't it? Stalybridge Celtic football club going down. Weldstone staying up. Still in the championship. League 1, we have Wigan storming the league again, not losing a game. Drawing 10, which is pretty bad. Um, Cambridge finishing at the second, Leighton Orient going through the playoffs. North Ferriby, Macclesfield, Southport and Halifax all getting relegated. Although it's a much closer league now. Bottom team finished five points away from staying up, so not closer. League two. Chelsea and Man United stormed the league Oh, both of them, 44 wins, two draws against each other, 134 points, no losses. Chelsea scored 152 goals, Man United scored 142. Chelsea only conceded 8 goals all season. It's ridiculous, Man United conceded 14. That's, it. That's amazing. Not saw such domination before. Um, Hednesford and Truro getting relegated. Gilesley have finished um, third bottom two years in a row. National League. As you can see, Liverpool and Tottenham getting promoted. Arsenal missing out on promotion, automatic promotion by one point. They had the best goal difference in the league. And then they missed out on playoff promotion, losing out to Tottenham. And they lost out to Tottenham, as well as Man City and Leicester. Southampton finishing 6th. Fleetwood, Port Vale, Aldershot and Chester getting relegated. Chester got 2 points the entire season against Aldershot and Rochdale. 
All the shots I understand, Rochdale, you should be ashamed. <laughs> Drawing with Chester City, who <laughs> conceded 155 goals. Only scored 16. Scored 3 against Rochdale. What were Rochdale doing? Were well, they playing the youth team? National League North, Everton, Stoke and promoted, Scunthorpe, Morpham and Hyde all getting relegated. So the Premier League team's still there, Newcastle, Sunderland, West Brom, Villa and that's it for the Premier League teams. Quite a few championship teams still there. National League South. It was Burnley and West Ham getting promoted. So Burnley, I think, the first championship team to get promoted from the National League North and South. West Ham winning the playoffs. And Dorchester, Dulwich Hamlet and Kingstonian getting relegated, as you would expect. That's all the teams that got promoted. They just don't have the class, although it is getting a bit closer. Dorchester finishing on 14 points. South End only on 25. Although Dorchester they did beat Kingstonian twice, so kind of explains where some of the points came from. Also drew with <laughs> Dulwich Hamlet, South End Brentford and Brighton, who are all finishing close to the bottom. So let's get on to 2019. I will see you there. Okay, this season, Boston United managed to claw their way up the table and win the Barclays Premier League. Ebsley came second, Eastbourne Borough came third, AFC Fylde came fourth. As you can see, we're now down to two Champions League spots. We'll check out the Champions League at the end of this video. Um, Gosport, Margate, Tranmere, Plymouth all dropping down. I think that's what actually came up, but Dartford, Bishop Stortford and Havant and Waterlooville all getting relegated. In the championship, Curzon Ashton won, Portsmouth second, FC, Ma FC United at Manchester, Harrogate and Wigan all missing out to Leighton Orient. Wigan have been very unfortunate there. Not managing to secure promotion. So Kurz and Ashton are now on a par with Wigan. It's quite interesting. Kurz and Ashton actually storming away with the league. St Albans, Weldstone and Maidstone all got relegated. I think I cursed Weldstone by mentioning them before. League 1. Man United and Chelsea stormed away with the league of course. Loss, only losses were to each other. Chelsea also drew with Bradford, who came third. Won, won the playoffs against Luton, Gateshead, and Yeovil. As someone from the North East, nice, nice to see Gateshead up there. Um, Walking, Maidenhead, Stalbridge, and Dover also getting relegated. I believe that's a second successive for Stalbridge. League 2. Liverpool and Tottenham and Accrington Stanley all getting automatic promotion I'm guessing they lost against each other yeah and Tottenham drew with Carlisle similar to League One um, Wickham managing to win the playoffs despite finishing bottom of the playoffs throughout the league season Galesley finally succumbing to relegation Gloucester also going down the National League Man City and Arsenal got promoted although Arsenal only just made a well I suppose it's a playoffs so it doesn't matter but Arsenal being Stoke over to Burnley in the playoffs they're only one point ahead of Stoke so does that mean they're more closely matched than we may think Man City lost four games despite winning the league so were they all to Premier League teams? they lost to Barnsley interesting Berry, Doncaster, Oldham and Hednesford going down. National League North. Newcastle won the league. Sunderland in second, so the two North East teams. West Brom won the playoffs, however, ahead of Sunderland, Derby and Aston Villa. Crewe, Darlington 
1883 and Chester all going down. Chester have just collapsed through the leagues. <laughs> the start in League One, finished bottom, finished bottom of League Two, finished bottom of the National League, and now finished. And yeah, the finished bottom of the National League North on two points, they drew two games, both against Darlington, who played, who came second bottom. Let's just say they've not had a good time in this save. Reading again promoted from the National League South. The majority of the big teams all got promoted so far, apart from Swansea, languishing down in 13th. Norwich won the playoffs. As you can see, MK Dons are back up. Hampton and Richmond Borough, Farnborough, Stainstown, all relegated. Um, I will join you at the end of the 2020 season, which will be the final season for this episode. Okay, guys, here's the final season I'm going to show in this episode. Stockport County won the Premier League ahead of Boston and Ebb's fleet. As you can see, Portsmouth finishing in 8th, back in the Premier League. Notts County 5th. All the big teams, Curzon Ashton just won the championship, they finished 11th, Plymouth in 13th, Leighton Orient won, oh, won the playoffs, got relegated, Tamworth and Alfred in town also getting relegated, championship wise, Chelsea and Man United walking it again, Chelsea won every single game, only conceding 12 goals, Man, City, Man United, sorry, Coming second, odd man promotion for them. Wigan managing to win the playoffs. Worcester, Bradford Park Avenue, and Sully Hill Mears, Moors getting relegated. Down to League One, where Liverpool and Tottenham managed to promote it automatically. Accrington and Stanley coming up through the playoffs for a second year running. Liverpool only lost one game all season. It was to Wrexham, who finished in seventh. Grimsby, St Albans, Bromley and Wildstone all getting relegated. Wildstone for a second successive year. League 2, Arsenal and Man City getting promoted. Arsenal this time, despite only getting through the playoffs in the Northern League, they stormed away with the league this year. Only conceding 16 goals compared to Man City's 50. Man City conceded 5 against York. Game 16th. What happened there? Harvey Pool promoted. Collier fourth, but Bristol pipping, pipping them to the promotion place through the playoffs. Ahead, ahead of Crawley and Exeter as well. Southport and Welling going down to the National League. Burnley and Newcastle. Is that successive promotions for them? No. Newcastle went up with West Brom, I believe. So Burnley and Newcastle getting promoted. Burnley ahead of Newcastle. Chesterfield Girls lead Truro and Gloucester going down. All the Premier League teams finished in the top half as you would expect. National League North was won by Aston Villa quite convincingly. Sunderland dropped down a place yet won the playoffs this time. Millsburg coming second in the league. Unfortunately for them, they missed out on the playoffs. They missed out through the playoffs. Um, Bolton languishing near the bottom. Doncaster, Bury and Blythe Spartans again relegated. Nice to see Blythe up there. Um, National League South. QPR and Bristol City getting promoted. Watford missing out once again. Bournemouth have climbed up a bit. Swansea are mid-table National League South team at this point. Dulwich Hamlet, Lewis and Chippenham Chippen, um, Town all getting relegated with very few points, although Redditch United staying low on 19 points. So somewhere along the line, Redditch, let's have a look. When did Redditch manage to stay up? They were just promoted this season. So, who went down? Dulwich, Lewis and Chippingham. 
must have been something to do with the way the National League North and South works. One of them was moved to this league as opposed to the other league because of how it's judged on how far north and how far south the teams are. So that means one of the bad teams managed to stay up. Right, so I said I would check on the FA Cup. So if we go to history, past winners, so we can see first season Arsenal beat Liverpool in the final, then Man United beat QPR, Chelsea beat West Ham, Ebbsfleet United won the FA Cup against Manchester City, and then Chelsea this season beat Eastbourne Borough in the Capital One Cup. Carlisle won it the first season against Wimbledon. Bradford won it against Cambridge. Man United beat Chelsea. Tottenham beat Chelsea. And then Chelsea beat Boston United. So, as we can see, because next season is going to be the first with Premier League teams in the Premier League. As you can see, some of the original teams are managing to put up a fight. Boston coming from National League North-South into the Premier League and now going to League Cup Finals. We'll just do a quick check on the Champions League. Who's been winning in that? As you can see, no English teams. Bayern, Juventus, Bayern got to the final. Bayern, Atletico, Bayern got to the final. Bayern. So Bayern have been dominating, basically, without any English teams. Let's have a look at the group stage, all groups. So, where's our English team? As Man City, the first season, won every game in their group. Um, Arsenal came ahead of PSG in their group. Come on, there has to be someone else. Chelsea won their group as well. Um, first knock around, Chelsea beat Real Madrid on penalties. Um, Arsenal went through against Benfica on um, aggregate. And where's Man City? Man City lost to PSG 3-1 on aggregate. Quarter final, Barcelona beat Arsenal. Chelsea got beat by um, Atletico Madrid. So that's where that ended. Let's have a look at the next season because there's not going to be any Premier League teams in this season. Eastbourne didn't get a point. Ebbsfleet didn't get a point. Alfred at Town didn't get a point. Yeah. The season after. Let's say Margate didn't get a point. Ebbsfleet didn't get a point. Eastbourne Borough got four points. The beat one team. And the Drew one. So the Drew against Salzburg, and I'm assuming they also um, beat Salzburg. So they didn't get through, but they got through to the Europa League. So four points is the most any English teams managed. Um, Margate got zero. Ebsley got seven. They almost got through. Well, they didn't really, 13 to 7, but they won two games, probably both against Victoria Pleasant. They drew with, I'm assuming, actually it must have been against Sevilla. And then they lost three. One to Sevilla, two to Galatasaray. And I believe that's it, yeah. And then the season just passed. Eastbourne Borough got two points. They drew probably twice against ASK Moscow. Um, Boston United got three. They beat. I'm going to assume. Actually, it may be Roma. Well, actually, we may be able to see that. I'll have a look in a minute. Um, and then Epsweet got seven, finishing two points being Real Madrid. Let's have a look at that. Um, senior squad schedule last season. So, Champions League, they drew with Bayern Munich. 
We lost 4 1 to Olympiacos. We lost 5 0 to Real Madrid. They beat Real Madrid. They lost 0 to Bayern and then they beat Olympiacos 1 0. It's a pretty even group actually. Doing much better than I expected them to be doing this early into the save. I expect maybe 10 years in to be competing with the big boys of Europe. Like, Boston beat Anderlecht. Then they narrowly lost to Roma. Narrowly lost to Dnipro. Narrowly lost to Dnipro again. Then they narrowly lost to Anderlecht and lost to Roma. So yeah, they didn't do as well, but... Let's have a quick look at the Europa League. Borussia beat Leverkusen, Borussia beat Zenit. Sevilla beat Schalke, Schalke beat Benfica, and Monaco beat Wolfsburg. If we look at the group stage for this, 2015-16, Southampton didn't get through, Man United did, stormed their group. Liverpool stormed their group as well, West Ham didn't get through, and Tottenham only drew one game. So if we have a look at the first knockout round. Um, no home ties for the English teams. Tottenham progressed against Groningen. United lost to Lyon. Um, Liverpool lost to Besiktas. None of them else got through, so let's check how Tottenham did. They went out to Borussia Dortmund in the second knockout round. Let's check on the group stage for the next season. Um, failed, got one point. Arsenal got ten. Bath got three, managed one win. And then, season after that, let's have a look. Any of the English teams? Boston got one. Sutton got one. And that was it. The season after, Eastbourne got four. Man United, they got 16. Chelsea got 18, so they go through. First knock around. United went through. Chelsea also went through. Second knock around. Chelsea went through again. Man United went through again. Oops. Quarter final. Chelsea beat Man United 7 1 in aggregate. And then lost to Schalke in the semi final. If we look at the next season, we have Tottenham coming third in their group. Gosport coming last. And failed coming last. So not very successful last season. And that's going to wrap it up, guys. I will, I want to thank you for watching. It's quite a long video, 40 minutes. Um, drop a like if you liked it. Comment down below what you would like to see me have a look through in the next episode. Like, do what, if you want me to look at a specific team or specific player, for example, where have they gone? I'll do that. Um, like the video if you liked it. Comment down below as it said. Subscribe if you want to see more. I've been Corvus95. Thank you for watching and goodbye.